Hello, welcome to Form 3 Computer Studies. We shall learn more about computer studies through a series of lessons under the following topics. Lesson Objective By the end of this lesson, the learner should be able to Explain concepts and reason for data representation in a computer. Define the terms bit, byte, nibble, and word. Explain types of data representation in the computer. And perform binary arithmetic operations. In digital computers, data is handled by peripheral devices in form of electronic circuits, magnetic form and optical form. Introduction In Form 1, we learned that the most commonly used computers today are digital computers. We also learned that data and instructions cannot be entered and processed directly using the natural language, but they must first be converted and transmitted in form of electric pulses represented by two distinct states, on and off. The on state may be represented by a 1 and the off state by a 0. These are the only two states that a computer can understand. The on and off can be converted to a digital signal and can be represented graphically as a square wave as shown below. In digital computers, data is handled by peripheral devices in form of electronic circuits, magnetic form and optical form. We have already seen the representation of digital signals in form of electric pulses. Just like in digital circuits, the presence of a magnetic field in one direction on a magnetic media is interpreted as 1, while the field in the opposite direction is interpreted as 0. In optical devices, the presence of light is interpreted as 1 and the absence of light is interpreted as 0. Optical devices use this technology to read or store data, for example, a CD-ROM. The shiny surface, when placed under a microscope, has very tiny holes called pits. The areas that do not have pits are called lands. Due to the complexity of natural language, computers do not understand or process human language directly. The human language must be first converted to a language the computer understands called the machine language before it can be processed. This language is in form of ones and zeros. The following illustration shows the binary equivalent of the word the binary. Example, the word then is recognized by the computer as follows. In the previous lesson, we learned that computers can only understand machine language which is in form of zeros and ones. The zeros and ones are the bi binary digit, also known as bit. A bit is the smallest unit of data on a binary computer, which can either be a zero or a one.
a group of 8 bits makes byte. Anibo is a collection of 4 bits otherwise also known as half a byte. A word is a group of 16 bits or more. Word length is the number of bits in a word. Example, a 16-bit word and a 32-bit word have a word length of 16 bits and 32 bits respectively. In digital computers, data is handled by peripheral devices in form of electronic circuits, magnetic form, and optical form. By the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to explain the types of data representation. Introduction Although computers understand binary numbers, complex types of data such as sounds and pictures can be represented using higher number system to reduce the long strings of binary codes that take a lot of memory and processor time. The higher number system reduces streams of binary into manageable form which helps to improve the processing speed and maximize memory usage. Decimal number system. You've been using the decimal, which is base 10, numbering system for so long that you probably take it for granted. When you see a number like 123, you don't think about the value 123. Rather, you generate a mental image of how many items this value represents. In reality, however, the number 123 represents... When you write decimal base 10 numbers, we use a positional notation system. Each digit is multiplied by an appropriate power of 10 depending on its position in the number. We note that the place value of decimal numbers increases by factors of 10. In the decimal number system, there are 10 possible values that can appear in each digit position, and so there are 10 numerals required to represent the quantity in each digit position. The decimal numerals are the familiar 0 through 9. That is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. In a positional notation system, the number base or the base of a number is also called the radix. Binary number system. Binary number system only has two digits, that is one or zero as earlier discussed. The binary number system is also a positional notation numbering system, but in this case, the base is not 10, but instead two. The following is an example of a binary number. Each digit position in a binary number represents a power of 2. For example, considering the following binary number 11010 base 2, the positional notation of the above binary number can be presented as follows. Starting from the right, the position value of 0 is 2 to the power of 0. The position value of the next 0 is 2 to the power of 1. The position value of 1 is 2 to the power of 2. The position value of 0 is 2 to the power of 3. The position value of 1 is 2 to the power of 4. The position value of 1 is 2 to the power of 5. 
Note that place value of binary numbers goes up by in factor of 2 from right to left. The rightmost digit is the least significant bit and the leftmost bit is the most significant bit. Octal and hexadecimal number systems are higher number systems than decimal and binary number systems. Instead of transmitting in digits of ones and zeros between devices, the data can be encoded as octal or hexadecimal to improve transmission efficiency. A single octal or hexadecimal digit encodes more than one binary digit. This is automatic data compression, hence storage media can save space. Hexadecimal number system. This number system uses 16 numbers ranging from 0 to 9 and letter A to F, representing numbers 10 to 15 respectively. Place value of hexadecimal numbers goes up in factors of 16. Hexadecimal numbers have a base or radix of 16. For example, 47 to the base of 16. It is known as base 16 system. The following are some additional examples of hexadecimal numbers. By the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to convert binary numbers to decimal numbers. So far, we have introduced the basic concepts of four number systems we have learned. Now, we shall have a detailed look of how we can convert numbers from one system to another. Conversion of binary to decimal. Converting a number from binary to decimal is quite easy. All that is required is to find the decimal value of each binary digit position containing a 1 and add them up. Let's convert to decimal the binary number 101101 to base 2. One. 
then we add the total of 1 plus 0 plus 4 plus 8 plus 0 plus 32 equals 45. And don't forget to get the number system. Convert the following binary number. To convert a binary number to decimal number, we proceed as follows. Write the place values of each digit starting from the right-hand side to the left-hand side. Then multiply each digit by its corresponding place value. Add up the product. The answer will be the decimal number in base 10. Convert the following binary numbers to decimal numbers. 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1 to base 2. 1, 1, 1, point zero, zero, 1 to base 2. 1, 1, 1 to base 2. 0, 1, 0, 1, point one, one zero, zero, to base 2. Introduction. In the last lesson, we learned how to convert binary numbers into decimal numbers. And in this lesson, we will learn how to convert the decimal numbers into binary numbers. There are two methods used for converting a decimal number to binary. The first method is successive or long division method. The second method is using the place value method. By the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to convert decimal number to binary number. Example 1. Let's convert the decimal number 156 to the base of 10 to binary. Write the decimal number as the dividend inside an upside down long division symbol. Write the base of the destination system, in our case 2, for binary, as the divisor outside the curve of the division symbol. Then write the integer answer which is a quotient, under the long division symbol and write the remainder 0 or 1 to the right of the dividend. Continue downwards, dividing each new quotient by 2 and writing the remainders to the right of each dividend. Stop when the quotient is 0. Starting with the bottom remainder, read the sequence of remainders upwards to the top. You should have one zero zero one 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 zero zero. This is the binary equivalent of the decimal number one fifty six. Example 2. Let's now convert the decimal fraction 156.625 to the base of 10 to binary. 
Step 1. We have already learned how to convert a whole decimal number into its binary equivalent. From the first example, note that the whole part of the above decimal fraction is 156 to the base of 10, which is equivalent to 100111100 to the base of 2. Step 2. Convert the fraction part, which is 0.625 to the base of 10 of the decimal number, to binary. Then, multiply the decimal fraction, which is 0.625 by 2. 0 0.625 times 2 equals 1.25. Disregard the whole number part of the previous result. In this case, 1. Multiply the fraction part, which is 0.25 of the product, by 2 again. The whole number part of this new result is a second binary digit to the right of the point. We will continue with this process until we get a 0 as our decimal part or until we recognize an infinite repeating pattern. The second binary digit to the right of the point is a 0. So far, 0 0.625 is equal to 0 0.10 to the base of 2. Disregard the whole number part of the previous result. Note that this result was 0 0.50, so there actually is no whole number part to disregard in this case. We therefore multiply 0 0.50 by 2 once again. The whole number part of the result is now the next binary digit to the right of the point. The third binary digit to the right of the point is a 1. So now we have 0.625 which is equal to 0 0.101 to the base of 2. We are now finished in step 3 because we have 0 as the fractional part of our result there. In this step, equate the decimal fraction to its binary equivalent as shown below. Then, add the whole part of binary equivalent to the fraction part binary equivalent. Therefore, the binary equivalent of 156.625 to the base of 10 is equal to 100111.0011. 0, 0, 0.101 to the base of 2. Introduction. To convert a decimal number to binary using the place value method, write down the place values of the binary in factors of 2 up to the value immediately larger or equal to the number being considered. For example, using the place value method, let's convert 254 to the base of 10 to binary. Step 1. Write down the place value up to 2 to the power of 8, which is 256, which is the number immediately larger than 254 because 2 to the power of 7, which is 128, is smaller than the 254. Lesson Objectives By the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to convert decimal numbers to binary numbers using the place value method. Introduction To convert a decimal number to binary Step 2 Starting from the left, subtract the place value from the number being converted. If the difference is a positive number or a zero, place one in the binary digit row. If the difference is negative, place a zero in the binary digit row as illustrated in the table below. Note that when the difference is negative, the number is carried forward to the next lower place.
step 3. The binary equivalent of 254 to the base of 10 equals 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0 to the base of 2. Other number conversions are conversion of binary and decimal numbers to octal and hexadecimal numbers, conversion of octal numbers to hexadecimal numbers, conversion of octal and hexadecimal numbers to binary and decimal numbers. Introduction. This is a type of representation where a character be it a letter, number or symbol is represented by a group of bits. The most commonly used coding schemes are binary coded decimal, BCD, extended binary coded decimal interchange code, EBCDIC, and American Standard Code for Information Interchange, ASCII. Binary Coded Decimals, BCD. It's a 4-bit code used to represent numeric data. For example, 7 is equal to 0, 1, 1, 1 to the base of 2. It is used in simple electronic devices such as calculators, watches, and microwave ovens. Its major limitation is that it can only be used to represent a maximum of 16, which is 2 to the power of 4 characters. By the end of this lesson, the learner should be able to explain representation of signed binary numbers, perform binary addition, In computers, we can represent signed binary numbers by prefixing an extra sign bit to a binary number. In decimal numbers, a signed number has a prefix of positive for a positive number and negative for a negative number. In binary, a positive number may be presented by prefixing a digit 0 and a negative number may be presented by prefixing a digit 1. For example, a 6-bit binary equivalent of 27 to the base of 10 is 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 to the base of 2. To show that it is positive, we can add an extra bit, which is 0, to the left of the number. That is 0 in brackets and then 
zero one one zero one one to the base of two. To show that it is negative, we add an extra bit, which is one to the left of the number. That is one in bracket zero one one zero one one to the base of two. The problem with this method is that zero can be represented in two ways using six bits as zero in brackets and then zero 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 to the base of two and one in bracket and then zero 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 to the base of two. There are only five possible additions in binary. First one is zero plus zero, which equals to zero. Zero plus one equals one. One plus zero equals one. One plus one equals one zero, read as zero carry one. And one plus one plus one equals one one, read as one carry one. There are four possible subtraction in binary. There are only five possible. For example, to find the sum of 101 to the base of 2 plus 001 to the base of 2. Step 1. Arrange the bits vertically as shown below. Step 2. Work from right to left as follows. 1 plus 1 is 0, carry 1. 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1. Lastly, 1 plus 0 is 1. There are four possible subtraction in binary. 0 minus 0 equals 0. 1 to the base of 2 minus 0 equals 1 to the base of 2. 1 to the base of 2 minus 1 to the base of 2 equals 0. 1 0 to the base of 2 minus 1 to the base of 2 equals 1 to the base of 2. This means you borrow 1 from the next most significant bit to make 0 to become 1 0 to the base of 2. Hence, 1 0 to the base of 2 minus 1 to the base of 2 equals to 1 to the base of 2. The term complement refers to a part which together with another makes up a whole. In geometry, complementary angles add up to 90 degrees. In binary numbers, the ones complement is the bitwise not applied to the number. The bitwise not is a unary operator, that is, it operates only on one operand and performs logical negation to each bit. For example, the bitwise not of 1101 to the base of 2 is 0010 to the base of 2. The bitwise not of 0000000 is 1111111 to the base of 2. In other words, zeros are changed, that is negated, to ones, and ones are changed, that is negated, to zeros. This operation is what is referred to as ones complement. For example, Using 8-digit bit binary motion, find the ones complement of 27 to the base of 10. Step 1. Convert the absolute value of 27 to the base of 10 into its binary equivalent as illustrated below. From the table, we see that 27 to the base of 10 is equivalent to 11011 to the base of 2. Step 2. To convert this answer into an 8-bit binary notation, add zeros to the left as illustrated below. Step
Step 3. Find the bitwise not of the 8-bit answer from Step 2. Step 4. Therefore, the ones complement of 27 to the base of 10 using an 8-bit binary notation is 1110010 to the base of 2. The main purpose of using ones complement in computers is to enable us to perform binary subtraction easily. For example, to get the difference in 7 to the base of 10 minus 4 to the base of 10, using the ones complement, we proceed as follows. The two's complement of a number is obtained by getting the one's complement then then adding one. For example, to find the two's complement of 27 to the base of 10, we convert 27 to the base of 10 into its binary equivalent as discussed earlier. Thus, 27 to the base of 10 is equivalent to 11011 to the base of 2. Step 2. To convert this answer into an 8-bit binary notation, add zeros to the left as illustrated below. Step 3. Find the bitwise not of the 8-bit answer from step 2. Step 4. Add 1 to the right hand side of the 1's complement of 7 to the base of 10. Therefore, the 2's complement of 27 to the base of 10 is 0001110 to the base of 2. Example 2. Using 2's complement to work out 7 to the base of 10 minus 4 to the base of 10 in binary form. Step 1. You rewrite the problem. 7 to the base of 10 minus 4 to the base of 10 in brackets as 7 to the base of 10 in brackets negative 4 to the base of 10. Step 2. Convert 4 to the base of 10 into its binary equivalent. That is, the binary equivalent of 4 to the base of 10 is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0 to the base of 2. Step 3. Find the 1's complement of the binary number in step 2. The 1's complement of 4 to the base of 10 is 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 to the base of 2. Step 4. Find the tools complement of the binary number in step 3. Note that from the above, the tools complement depicts a negative number. 